In this video, we're gonna take a look at the Logitech MX Keys S from a Mac user's perspective. This is a versatile, full-size keyboard that's super sleek and comfortable to type on, and it works great if you have a bunch of different devices that you want to pair it with. Now, I've been using the Apple Magic keyboards for years, and I haven't had a full-size keyboard in a long time. So having the number pad on the side, as well as some of the extra buttons has been really nice. But this keyboard is a little bit different to use if you're a Mac user, because you have both a backspace and delete button, unlike on Mac keyboards where you just have the delete key and you use command to change it from going backwards to forwards on deleting. So getting used to having the two different buttons is a little bit different. It's also missing a function button on the bottom left when you compare it to a Magic Keyboard. Additionally, I noticed that several of the function keys don't do the same thing as what Apple's keyboards do. So it can be a little bit confusing to use if you're not used to the MX Keys S. But what's really cool about this keyboard is Logitech gives you an app called Logi Options Plus that allows you to change what the different function keys do and add different shortcuts depending on what app you have open. I really like typing on this keyboard. It's comfortable and it's a nice size and the keys have a good amount of travel without being as thick as a mechanical keyboard. This keyboard looks really great and the graphite color looks great with Apple Space Gray devices. I also really like the backlight on the keyboard as it just gives it a more premium look and a little bit more useful to use in the dark. I will say if you use the backlight, your battery life drops from five months to 10 days, so you're gonna be charging it more. But it's super easy to charge because it uses USB-C and the port is in the top right, so it's nice and out of the way when you're using it. The typing experience with this keyboard is great. The non-slip pads on the bottom keep it from sliding around your desk while you type on it, and the keys have a satisfying feel, yet without being crazy noisy like some other keyboards are. It's just a good, quiet keyboard. It's also a great keyboard if you're an Apple user and you're used to some of the newer Apple keyboards because the typing experience feels about the same. There's about the same amount of resistance and about the same amount of keyboard spacing. You get some useful buttons on this keyboard like a lock button in the top right, a screenshot button, a calculator button, and a look up now button. If you don't like what the function keys on top are programmed to, you can download the Logi Options Plus app, and that allows you to customize what the different buttons do. And you can even change what the function keys do depending on what app is open. So this is a great way to customize the typing experience to your workflow and your applications that you use. The MX Keys S uses USB-C for charging purposes, and it uses Bluetooth to connect it to your devices. Logitech also includes one of their USB bolt receivers, which is really nice because you can use that on a legacy device or a device that doesn't support Bluetooth but still has a USB port. My favorite feature of this keyboard is that you can pair it to multiple devices at the same time. This comes in handy for someone who has a MacBook and an Apple TV and an iPad because you can seamlessly change from one to the next just by pressing and holding the device buttons in the top middle of the keyboard. To put it in pairing mode, all you have to do is press the desired device slot button on the keyboard and hold it, and then the light will start to blink. Once the light's blinking, get on your computer or your iPhone or your Apple TV, and then go to the Bluetooth settings, and you should see the keyboard there ready to add. So it's really easy to set up different devices, and it's even easier to go back and forth between using your phone, your computer, your Apple TV, or your iPad. The MX Keys S is a great option whether you're using Windows, Mac OS, iPad OS, or Linux. It retails for $110, which feels a little bit expensive, but it's quite a bit cheaper than Apple's own Magic Keyboard with number pad on the side of it. The keyboard looks great, functions great, and has a lot of customization, so it's a great option for anyone who's looking to make their life a little bit more productive while using their keyboard. I have links to buy this keyboard in the description below. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any other questions about the MX Keys S, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer it. Also check out my other reviews of more Logitech products like the MX Master 3S mouse. And subscribe to my channel if you're looking for more tech content.